Now back to the countdown, the uh, story, our interview with the uh, with the civilian. His name is Wato Joseph, and is the founder of Coffee SCU. Uh, we spoke with him uh, last week. We, it was his chance encounter. I just came from the UN General, he attended the UN General Assembly as well uh, late in late September and we talk about, he talk about you know what he mean, what, why President Biden visit to Angola is significant and how the U.S. can continue to support African nations and what the U.S. investment, especially in the health sector, uh, the impact that is having on the ground. And as he told us, uh, it will be an opportunity for the U.S. president uh, to the first leader from the country to visit the continent in almost its own year. And it will be the first time uh, it would be an opportunity for him to see on the ground what the impact of the U.S. investment. So here is that. And this concludes our news wrap and update for today. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good evening. Well, let me say first of all, okay. I like your attire. Okay, thank you. Um, I can tell you let, without me, tell us where you're from. Yeah, I'm, I'm from Cameroon. Okay. Uh, we usually call it the continent, but I'm from Cameroon. <laughs> <laughs> you're yeah. from Cameroon, yeah. so Cameroon is the continent. Ah, uh, yeah, we call it the continent, <laughs> even if it's a country, but it's a, we call it the continent because of all what we have there as resources and so on. So, human resources, uh, natural resources, and many other things. Okay. That's why we call it the continent. Okay, you know? I'm, I'm pretty sure other Africans we argue with you on that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the reason why I wanted to talk to you uh, is and um, thank you for allowing us to do this and yeah. giving us permission is um, President Biden is traveling to Africa mm. this month. Uh, it's the first time that he will visit the continent even though other leaders uh, in his administration have traveled to the continent in the past three years and you might be aware that in 2022 he invited a lot of African leaders uh, to the US for the US Africa Leader Summit yeah. and a lot of investments announcements were made now, and in the past three years there's been huge investment uh, between the U.S. and the uh, continent. Uh, you know, people often complain that Americans have lagged behind China in Africa. Mm. And, and, and in the past three years, it seems that this administration has not only just made significant trade and economic investments, they've also redoubled that on the people-to-people -people relationship. Mm. So, your view, if you don't mind, on this Africa. visit, what do you think it means uh, for Africans and for the U.S.-African relation? Yeah, I've, uh, I think the visit of Biden, the President Biden in Africa is, uh, is uh, a good initiative uh, as uh, the, uh, looking at the relation uh, relationship between Africa and US and I think uh, he's doing good thing because uh, you know there are many other partners who are coming to uh, make to like let's say uh, uh, a relationship with uh, with Africa we look at China we look at the other and so on Russia and so on so I think uh, his presence is also very important but I can also testify because uh, I think uh, US has been doing a lot in Africa I'm one of the beneficiaries of what uh, the US administration is doing as a help as a grant as uh, many other stuff that they are doing in Africa because uh, uh, for example 
I'm, uh, I'm a beneficiary of uh, one of the projects being carried out in uh, carried on in Cameroon called Sembe 2. It's a president's it's a it's a grant from the presidential malaria initiative. This, this is a huge amount of money that they are giving in the country to support the fight against malaria. So I think also that being in Africa, being it, it, maybe Angola is just a starting country, but I hope it will also go to another countries to find out how it works and uh, uh, testify by himself why, how Africa is, how Africa people are working there or how people are living there and so on and find out uh, uh, from the help that he's been giving in Africa does it really work? Do we really have people there with what is being given and so on? He can testify by himself when uh, he will come to Africa. That's why I can, what I can say and I think uh, it's a good point because um, uh, he's coming to Africa and it will, it will really build a strong relationship between the country, uh, US and uh, the whole Africa. Oh. Thank you. I mean, one of the things that you mentioned that I didn't even realize, um, because I just asked if we could talk, is you are one of the beneficiaries of uh, the investment that the U.S. is making in Africa. And in this aspect, that focus on health uh, initiative, uh, malaria that you talk about significantly affects across Africa. Uh, We also know the impact on sickle cell. So talk to us more about the project that you're working and, you know, given, as you mentioned, there are other countries that are investing in Africa as well. Mm. How is the U.S. different? Yeah, I think the sickle cell is one aspect that is being left behind, I know, concerning the resources. But I think uh, with malaria, uh, they, we are still lacking the resources but what is being given already is a, a, a huge amount already that uh, is helping uh, in the in the in the country the the the, the grants that the investment that is being given by the Biden administration uh, uh, is um, in the north region of Cameroon and the far north so I think the the, the, the investment that being given there uh, will really help reduce malaria burden and you know malaria Cameroon is one of the 11 countries most affected by malaria and uh, Africa sub-saharan Africa is most uh, is the, the, the is the part of the world that carry 90 percent of all the death and uh, and the cases of malaria in the world so I think uh, uh, malaria is just one of the issues because it's, it concerns health, but the, the, the Biden administration is investing in many other diseases, not only malaria, but also HIV, tuberculosis, and so on, because they are the most investor in the global fund. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm a member of the Global Fund also but in the board in the board of the Global Fund and they are the most investor actually in the Global Fund and their investment is helping millions millions of uh, people around the world not only Africa at that time but uh, around the world so I think the investment that are being given are also important very important and I think uh, we should be reinforcing our relationship and giving more because sometimes we are not saying it is all but when we say thank you we are asking also more saying thank you is also asking more because uh, the health issue is not something for one one person but it it concerns all of us we have malaria in sub-saharan africa but i think also a u.s can the malaria can come back in U.S. because we found out that there are some few areas in U.S. already that they discover malaria, but it is not higher as in Africa. So we should be fighting all together in the Sustainable Development Goal, the 17th Sustainable Development Goal that concerns partnership. We should be together. We should work together to uh, uh, end up diseases in the world and uh, work towards 
many other issues that are affecting our 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 world conflict and so on there. okay so thank you so much for for what what is the name of your organization again uh, yeah my organization is named uh, 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 Gofis. it is a, is a coalition of uh, uh, CSOs uh, for health financing and universal health coverage so we work uh, to we work on advocacy uh, being in Cameroon and, and, and in the world to uh, make our government and uh, 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 decision maker a, a, accountable for their engagement, for their commitment and invest more in health issue because we need a universal health coverage for all of us. We need all, 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 everybody to be able to benefit from health services and access to health services ar around the world and in sub-saharan africa uh, is a is a is a place that we really need good health also okay uh you know what one thing that you quickly touch on is how the u.s approach under president biden uh have taken a different a more unique approach, people-to-people yeah. -people diplomacy. Yeah. It's not just investment in inf infrastructure, yeah. it's long-term investment in human capital. Yeah. Uh, and that you're saying that this is something that is very much needed across the continent, uh, African continent, and very much needed uh, around the world. And you are the beneficiary of that, as well as so many other people in the project that you're working, that we have, uh, exceptional significant um, consequences yeah. uh, in the future to the health, as you mentioned, universal health, um, that we increase productivity as well as economic growth, not just in Cameroon, mm. across the continent. Am I correct? That's it. Yeah. yeah. So what is your message to the president as well as the IMF and the World Bank uh, meeting uh, will take place also this month? We are only we are across from the White House mm. right now. You are you are in the park, and on the other side of the street is the World Bank and the IMF headquarter. And finance minister we gathered there uh, for the IMF World Bank four meeting. What is your message to African leaders and President Biden that we visit the continent? Mm. Yeah, to African leader first, I will ask uh, more commitment and uh, engagement in uh, issues that, uh, uh, re that are related to the well-being of, the, of their communities uh, in their countries because um, there are ma we, we lack many things like uh, health access, uh, security, uh, there are many other uh, issues, gender issues and so on. We need more commitment and saying more commitment is also more investment. If we take the health issues that I know more, uh, our African uh, 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 head of state, they commit in Abuja to invest at least 15% of the budget of the, the country in health sector but in many of those uh, of our countries it, it we did not we never reach seven percent or six or seven percent or even five percent yeah or even five percent and that's a real problem and that's why i call on the head of state in uh, uh, in africa that they should respect their commitment they should they should really uh, go for their commitment and invest what they said they would invest in health sector for us to access to universal health coverage. And uh, that's, uh, we said health is, in, is around everything. Health where is you are, wealth. Yeah, it health is well. Because if you are in good health, health is cover all other sectors. Because there is health in, in urbanization, there is health in agriculture, there is health in everything. There is health in everything. That's why I think Investing in health is the most important thing that we need because somebody who is not in good health, the economy will fall, the economy will collapse. That's why I call on them 
and the ministers of health to put more investment, to orientate more of the country's investment in health issues. And uh, for that, uh, it is also another strategic or political issue that can help that we are asking why because we cannot leave our health in the hands of other people and that's why i'm asking our government to invest more in health it's true we are we are our hands are open to take other to donors. take uh, donors and so on but the donors should not the, 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 their their investment should not be the most uh, 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 the highest in our countries. The highest uh, uh, investment should come from our government. That's why I think we should ask, uh, I'm asking the, our government and our head of state and Minister of Health, Minister of Finance that are coming here for the World Bank and so on, uh, meeting uh, to invest more in health. And to Biden, the President Biden, I, should, I can only say thank you uh, I will only thank him and take, thank his administration for the the the, 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 the investment that is he's, he's sending to our countries, the investment that is that is that are channeled in our countries and so on, because it has a lot of significant. Uh, 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 um, impact. Yeah, impact. A lot of significant impact in our countries, and uh, I think uh, uh, more investment is also important, and uh, it will come and uh, help and and be like uh, help into to the investment that are being that are being given by the government. Or, so it will catalyze. Yeah, yeah it will catalyze uh, the yeah, other investment. Other investment. Public-private uh, partnership e as exact, well. Exactly. Exactly. That's why I said uh, thank you to the president who had that idea to uh, come in Africa and to uh, strengthen the relationship between the, the, the U.S. administration and the African uh, nations. Uh, nations. Yeah. Thank you very much for this interview. Yeah. Uh, thank you. You're welcome.